It eases our pain, it relaxes us, it boosts our immune system, and best of all, it's contagious. You've heard the saying that laughter is the best medicine, but is it good medicine? Well, I'm gonna dive deep into that question and find out, is there a connection between laughter and wellbeing? The healing power of laughter. It's been a thing since the 1960s when psychologists focus on how it relieves pain, reduces blood pressure and decreases stress. But today, probably the most important form of laughter therapy is happening in places like this. It's 9am at the Sydney Children's Hospital and two highly specialised medicos are starting their rounds. Oh, I'm so very... Oh. Did that just jump out at me? Uh, <laughs> embarrassing. This is Dr. Dottie and her esteemed colleague, Dr. I don't know. Doctor, 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 doctor. And doctor. their area of medical expertise is, yep, you guessed it, fun. <laughs> These smiles are the result of the beautiful work done by the Humor Foundation clown doctors. Doctor. <laughs> doctor. We're supposed to be looking for Marianne. Marianne, Marianne. This is Marianne, three hours out of surgery. She's feeling a little unsure of things and even a little scared. But her magical medical team have just the remedy. Good to meet you. Come and meet Marianne. Um, yes. that's, that's not Marianne at all, no. no. You're no. right, I'm just uh, testing uh, you again. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm For Marianne's mother, this part of Mary's treatment is a sweet relief to the last few hours. That's quite that's good to work. <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. It is fantastic. Yeah. It's such a great day service. Day so provide and if you call out Jack, I'll come. Kids couldn't do without them, I don't think. Yeah. Really. Just I mean, puts a smile, as you can see, a smile Jack. on her face Jack. after coming <gasps> out of the operating theatre. Since 1997, the Humour Foundation has been training performers to work in Australian hospitals as clown doctors. So these guys are, in fact, highly trained specialists. There's been national studies that have found um, that um, humour and laughter has physiological and psychological effects, um, you know, on uh, us humans. So, you know, that's exactly what we're trying to do here in the hospital is just uh, turn around that experience and also create a new memory for them, you know, because hospitals can be scary places for kids. Every day, every round you come in, you will always be amazed at how you can turn a bleak, hard situation and a hard a room that just seems so down and dark into a bright one just with a bit of laughter. What about this bubble right here? This bubble right the here. healing these two doctors practice is vital. Ah! Oh. In fact researchers have proven that laughter stimulates circulation and heightens the immune system by releasing endorphins the feel-good hormone. But Sebastian only minutes off the operating table isn't thinking about any of that stuff. And that's the point, really. It should stick after about six months. Um, with enough booger, it'll just stay put. All right, so uh, keep it on. And can we just try it with your new smile, Justin Bieber? Beautiful. Oh. Lovely. Oh, it's beautiful. Honestly, it's been a big, a big sort of 24 hours here, and so so nice just to have a good giggle and um, for him to have a bit of fun, bring some sunshine to his day. Obviously, I'm a mum of a three and a half year old, and it is so nice to see Marianne and all these kids laughing. It warms my heart, and you do feel there is a level of healing that something that medicine can't give alone. It's really great. But do we have to be sick to receive the benefits of laughter? Or can we bring it into our everyday lives? One lady thinks we can. This is laughter yoga. Connie Costa from Laugh and Live Well has been running these laughter workshops since 2014. And she believes that every single one of us can have the benefits of a good dose of laughter. So what really happens to our body when we laugh? I know we get the shakes and, you know, it's all exciting. Yeah, so it just tends to dissolve any stress or tension. You can't feel stressed while you're laughing because you can't feel those two emotions at the same time, stress and, you know, positivity. Um, so it reduces stress hormones, it releases endorphins, natural painkillers, and it makes you feel good. Laughter yoga is based on the idea that real laughter is contagious. The class uses rhythmic clapping, yogic breathing and laughter to create genuine well-being in each other. 
Do you think there is a connection between laughing and wellness? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so when you feel good, you're less likely to get sick because, you know, stress can suppress the immune system. Feeling down can, you know, it, it's... If you are feeling good and you're positive and you're breathing deeply and you're laughing, absolutely, there are benefits to health. Oh, well. And you just have to talk to some of the laughter wellness devotees. I've had some health issues, chronic health issues over the last six months and the last three days I've actually been the best in six months. Laughter yoga teaches you to laugh freely from the body instead of the mind. I must be honest that when I walked into the group, I was definitely a little bit apprehensive, but once I actually got into the laughter, it was quite euphoric. In fact, I definitely believe there is a connection between laughter and wellness.